I'm literally flying half a plane here. What? Secure, try and carefully land down to the ground. Hey guys! I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to Terror Tech! Alright, let's see where we're going here. Okay, that would be this one. I think we have more better future uh, missions to do this time. No, it's Venture! A slippery slope and Tom Charles 3000 meters in 90 seconds. Oh my lord, we can't cancel these either. Okay, so slippery slope is off over in that direction. We're currently being charged right now. And one thing I want to um, tell you guys. At, la at the end of last episode, you guys remember that I found a mobile furnace from Hawkeye. I decided to I leave that until like, um, like for a Hawkeye build. Because like, that way... It's like, um, how I want, uh, to do this, I kind of want to, like, uh, leave them to, like, their own companies as much as possible. So they don't look too, like, too, um, haphazard. That's why, like, this one here has mostly, um, Geocore parts. And, well, Hawkeye, it has Hawkeye weapons because Hawkeye weapons are freaking awesome. But, I digress. Is this the modified one? Uh, looks like it is. Yeah, I think this is the modified one. So I'll catch you guys over there on the uh, ice mountain there for a for a slippery slope, and um, I'll see what we have to do there because I don't think I've ever had this mission before, so this is gonna be quite interesting. And. I'm also rather interested in what kind of stuff that we get too, because we haven't gotten adventure stuff in a while. So it'll be a nice welcome change. Here we are, they're just below us. Is this all the... Wait, that looks like... Wait, where are we? I don't re... What the hell is that? Oh hey there Susie. Still somehow managed to remember her name. We gotta get up that? Looks like we have to, what, drive up that mountain? Oh my lord, I wanna have a look at this before we do this. This looks kind of nuts. So it looks like we start off there where Susie is. Then we have to drive around the ice. And the oh my god, if, if I don't do this correctly, this is gonna be slippery. This is cool though. Yeah, we're going to need to be careful when we do this. That's going to be treacherous. Oh god! Pull up, pull up. Okay, how there's an ice mountain like literally right next to a desert and I like, right on the uh, edge of a grassland, I will never know. Now, if this was the, like, the ah, icy area, that would make more sense, but still, like I said. What the hell? You know what? I haven't made a venture type ground vehicle in a long time, so I'll tell you what guys, I'll um I'll modify this vehicle and I'll see what I can do with it. I think I might have something in mind that could work. Alright guys, how does this look? <laughs> I was I I was just thinking about like what I could do with this, and this is what I came in mind, uh, came up with. And it was originally like this, but this looks a little weird, so I decided to move it to the back. So having like, nah, I keep it in the back. Oh my god, this thing is fast! Okay, let's go and have a look and see what, um, um, I literally said her name. Wait. Ice Crawler Vanna, Ice Crawler Zozo. Am I missing something here? This is a little odd. Oh god, don't hurt yourself. Yo, yo! Hey, hey! What's happening, my good friend Oh, Has the cold weather frozen your wheels in place? Something wrong? Cat got your tongue, yo? Ah, I guess the tech is just too austere to speak to us right now. If I had to guess, it's probably had a chance to sleep the slick obstacle course we created. Ha! I see, hey, hey! The mountain is just the mountain way and the challenges that have attempted to reach the top. Before we start, let's go a few rows. Yeah, hover anti-gravity 
flight blocks are banned. Make sure you send in your text in your to your SEO before starting an anti cheat writer text or text in challenge. You should probably try a smaller text size too. The pack is quite quite tight near the end. Just go just go ahead and skate your way over to starting man. Begin the challenge, yo. I don't know why, like, right off the bat, I just gave them both different voices, but it's supposed to make sense. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go! We'll see you at the top, yo! Okay. Oh, God! This is slippery! I should have went with the, uh, Doom wheels or something. Oh, my God! Wait. Um, they don't actually damage me, do they? I hope they don't. I think these things are just designed to push me off. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Stop. I'm stuck. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm hung up right now. Here we go. Oh my god. This thing is quick. Oh my god, why did I do this to myself? Slight annoyance. <laughs> I just got shotguns, that's hilarious. Weird how these guys doesn't have a name. Oh crap! Oh, don't push me off. Holy shit! You let us right out of bounds, did you? Get back to the sideline and have another go. I'm changing all these wheels. Holy shit! Let's try this out. Something small, and I like the tracks on it, though it appears to be bottoming out quite a bit. Where did they go? Did they just fly off? Oh my god, okay. Go, 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 we see you at the top, yeah? Oh god. Though it does feel like I have a bit more, bit better grip this time around. Whee! Though I have a feeling the uh, two black on the back where the tracks are going to get is going to get bed up. No! Oh god, why is this so freaking speedy? Holy crap! No, 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 no. Ah! Good lord. Good lord. Please don't actually shoot me out. Okay. Yeah, I do like the slower speed, and plus, like, the tracks does give better traction. Ah, damn it! Uh, uh. For freak's sake. I think I'm gonna stick with this, though. This, uh, this does feel... What the hell was that? Was that debris? Weird. Okay, let's give this another shot. So the reason why I went with like the half track design here, because well, first of all, I only have two tracks. Second of all, I do like the like kind of like half track vehicles. Can I seriously stop bouncing around like a freaking pinball? Like oh, holy crap! Okay, can I get lined up here. Whee! I find it funny how like the ice gets like barely any grip at all, but once you get like onto like the uh, venture track sections we just get like flung the amount of grip that we have oh for frank it god damn it when in doubt use the dune wheels that's the thing i would say about venture they are really really friggin fast and with this ice it doesn't exactly help either and you guys are probably wondering why i'm even doing this with like venture stuff I want to see if I can actually like pull this off using the uh, say the company oriented blocks. I really want to see if I can pull this off. Though so far I've just been slipping off. You know I just realized something. This race course completely contradicts what Venture stands for. Because Venture is all about lightweight and speed. This says, go slow, or you're gonna fall off. Okay. Ah! Okay. Now, I'm not sure if I could sneak up the right side here. 
But I have a feeling if I do that, I'm gonna get hit with the get hit by those. Okay. Okay, we're safe right now. It's this one I need to worry about. Because once it grabs sight of me. Oh shit! Uh, uh, I put on a 5 axis turning thruster and they piped up and said that um, uh, that I was they I had a forbidden block and I was trying to cheat. Guys, just watch. You know, put it back on. Yeah, see? Because I was going down and try to turn. Because for some reason when this freaking thing is on ice, it cannot turn to save its own life. Okay, here we are back at this again. I put, I moved the spoilers in the front, see if that does anything, so I'll quite, uh... Why do they exist? I think I found a use for that dino block. That looks really cool. And hopefully we can actually get to the top this time without freaking dying. Because those things are not so much of little annoyances that they're just really just a pain in the ass. I mean, using Sonic uh, Lance, Lances is one thing to try to push you off, but to ever just shoot you in the face? No thanks. Slight annoyances are currently just shooting each other in the face. I'm quite satisfied with that. Okay. Don't, don't go friggin' near me. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I timed this wrong, I'm going off. Wait a minute. I'm gonna go over here. Turn. That way, I can aim myself directly over there. Okay, shoot. Oh my freaking god, we made it. Okay. Uh, which way do you want us to go here? Or to go in the ramp? Oh, you want to cut us across? You want us to cut across here? All right. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh crap. Okay. Uh. Shoot, and go over here. Ah! What are you? That's really weird looking. Oh, so I can't use hover, uh, hover, or flight stop, but that thing can. All right, I see how it is. Jesus, that thing is gonna smack us off if I'm not careful. Oh God, I think, thank God, this thing is low. Oh, for the most part. Oh! No, no, don't do it, don't do it. Move. Please, for the love of God, move. God, you literally have like no grip on this. Holy shit. Ah! Okay, 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 stop. Calm down. Freak's sake. Ah! Okay, seriously, now why are you being so. No, 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 stop. Okay, that was weird. Okay. I just want to stop and it went forward. Okay. Chill. Chill? Chill. God damn it, that again. Okay, will you stop? Oh, freak this. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. Freak off. Go by her again. Come on. Maybe if you stop bumping off the pillars and you know actually move your ass, maybe we wouldn't be stuck here. Thank you. Okay. Oh my sweet Jesus. This is why I do not like ice physics. Ice physics is irritating. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, that's, that's a giant middle finger right there. Time to try this again. Sweet love of Jesus. Well, I don't think we need to worry about these anymore. What wheels are they using on the back? Are they using venture wheels or are they using something else? Weird. All right, back to here. Now you guys are going to see why I took off that dino block and put my cab in the front. Watch. Can't touch me now. <laughs> Screw you. Okay. 
Let's see if I can actually get up here. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, that's not like a punch to the face. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah. Okay, now... Okay, okay, stop. Stop. No, do not slide off here. Okay. How the hell? Are you freaking serious? This is not one of those. Wee! Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Here we go. I'm really not used to build beam any longer than I have to. Just in case uh, those guys say, oh, like I'm doing something illegally. Breaking the. I feel like I'm playing getting over a Benny Fadi right now. Trying again. Yeah. I'm tired of falling off, so I put this on it. Hopefully that should make us go slower. Though this this slippering is just why. I mean I know Vange is made for the sand, but come the frig on. I mean if something like this exists. Uh, it's just one way to say screw it. Uh, all right, we're back at this section again. Hopefully, I don't just slide, randomly slide, fling off the edge. Come on, or do that. Okay, give it another shot. Um, um, okay. I gave that a slight, and I mean a slight adjustment to the right, just so I don't go off to the left. Did you guys see just how much that actually turned to the right? Just get off this frag and... All right, I had the land shoot me up here this time, which was really... This is going to just really just be a mess of annoyance, isn't it? Oh my God, why? Why must things like this exist? Don't you dare push me off. Okay. Well, we're safe with this one. No! I just want to get this done. Not to have my blood pressure go to the roof. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Really? Get up there. There. I mean, you can use the build beam to get yourself stuck. They don't uh, call you up for that. What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, it's not very slippery here. What the hell? Oh, you... Really? Oh, you... You are not... Oh my god. Why? I'm gonna be destroyed before I get through this. Okay. Oh my god, you are freaking kidding me. Okay. Wait for that to shoot. Okay. At least these aren't, uh... You know what? I prefer for there be Sonic Lances right here. You said I don't have to worry about getting freaking shot. Okay. Come on. Oh, the top is right there. At least I think it is. I hope it is. Um. Okay. We're so close. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god, really? Wait, can we cheese this? Um, yes and no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Seriously, stop getting hung up. Wait, what do you want me to do here? 
Where do you want me to go? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so you want me to shoot across that gap. Um. Okay. So it said I can't use flight blocks, so how am I meant to get over there? Is the question. Oh my god, really? Going around. God's sake. Oh my god, what? Are we safe with this? Because I think we're going to need this for the end. Though I am not going to use it to on the way up. I'm not that crazy. Guys, what advice? When you're going up this ramp, if you happen to get stuck, be careful when you use your booster because I literally went up on a ledge up on the wall and I ended up hurting myself in the process. <sighs> Boosters are recommended to get into that. Those shotguns is just requires precise timing because that's what I did and I didn't get Well, I got shot by the first one is because, well, my timing was off. But the second one I managed to get through unscathed. Okay, let's get through this type of nightmare again. Okay. This section here is honestly not that bad, it's just the turret is really intimidating. Oh gosh! Okay, that's... that that got more terrifying than I initially realized. Let's see, that was more terrifying than I initially realized. Okay. I put the uh, spoilers on it sideways, that way they don't create downforce and cause, to us, cause us to do a front flip. Winner, winner! Hey, hey, a tech managed to get to the top, and it's a pain in the ass! Congrats, yo! It's been a long time since I've seen a tech as skillful as you. Darn, do I have to go and work on a new hardcore for next time? No! Screw you! Call, uh, call down a crate with your parts and such. Be here in a few moments. Time for us to leave and defrost back at SKMO1, Extreme Ice Sports HQ. See you next time. Bye. Eskimo, really? Where is it? Oh, here we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Oh, this is quite a lot of stuff. Oh my sweet Jesus. <laughs> Racing spoilers. Oh, cool. We got the large spoiler, G-Boy spoiler. Is that the dark? That's the dark side one, isn't it? It's a freaking big propeller. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, let's have a look and see what the size difference is. Oh my. <laughs> you are kidding me right now, right? Oh my god. That is... Wow. The size, the size difference of that, I mean, really. Good lord. Well, it's time to clean this up and see what we got. Um, something is not quite right here. Okay, come on. Wait, why can't I fly? Oh, pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, where's the safe spot for us to sit down to when The other one is off in this direction. Okay. So, let's see if I can come across a clearing so we can have a look and see... Wait, I can do this in the air, why not? Okay, let's see what kind of stuff that we just got, because... Do a quite a lot of new things. Okay. Venture Sonic Lance, developed by uh, fl Fluidix engineer Dr. Ren H Hensgen. Or Hensgen. He was originally trying to create a new type of hydraulic trouser press. We got carried away and ended up with a Sonic Lance capable of launching 50 metric tons of machinery over our house. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Curiously, this device will not work when used against allies. Interesting, but also handy. Venture Mini Sonic Lance. This is the smaller, more compact, but less powerful version Sonic Lance by Fluidix engineer Dr. Ren Hensgen. He was... Oh, okay, this is what... Uh, said the same thing afterwards. Okay, let's see what our stuff we have in here. Good God, I really do not want to go through that again. That was just... That was irritating. <laughs> Okay, Venture G-Boy Spoiler, that's the big one here. For your inner boy racer, this will keep you grounded, keep you grounded at high speeds. Okay, Venture Big Top Nose Propeller, a large puffer nose propeller used on, on larger aircraft. Can we need to head off to the right here a little bit. 
And venture lightweight racing spoiler. Lightweight racing spoiler help you maintain control and on your tech are high speeds. And looks like we might need to use that spoiler because the next one right here now is a, a time trial. You got 3,000 meters in a minute and a half. And here it is, right over here. And it's like, okay, so we have to go to this course. That doesn't look too difficult. And I think I will do this course in this video since the, the uh, time limit is so short. Oh, that's an enemy tech that just spawned in. Okay. Okay. You're looking to be bombed? Here you go. Mortar dude. Eh. Because I really do not want that thing to attack us while we're trying to go through this course. That would just be more evidently annoying. Come on. Oh my god, seriously. No, 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 no. Um, okay. Okay, I... I don't know what the plane just tried to do there. Move, you sorry ass! Good lord. Right, now I lost the little back half of my plane. That actually that dumbass. Oh my god. This is so freaking bad. Come on. I'm literally flying half a plane here. What? Just <laughs> care, try and carefully land down to the ground. That that guy's gonna get it, trust me. He's gonna get his just deserves in in terms of this big guy. Wait, did I seriously not? Did I seriously do that again? I forgot to save it. Really? Am I someone you want to go up against? Okay. Okay. My ass just is enough to take you out. Okay, now let's go deal with this nuisance over here before it becomes even more of a just a plain old nuisance. Really? This is not quite what I've been looking for. Where's that air tank called mortar dude? I'll show him a thing or two. Well, it seems like some of the planes survived. We do have a landing skid. Oh, in Uzi SMG. Okay, it doesn't seem like mortar dude is around here, which doesn't make much sense because I didn't destroy him. Well, if he happens to pop up on the track, he's gonna be dead anyway. Alright, let's start off this course here and see if we can actually do it. Hopefully mortar dude doesn't come by and say, I'm gonna kill you. Because, well, if he decides to say that, I'm just gonna completely just destroy his face. Like he very much deserves. Off we go! Something more of a natural environment for these guys. Alright. This is going really well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a complete stark contrast to the freaking slippery slope I had to do earlier. Holy crap! Okay. Okay. Yep. Go to hell. Go to friggin' hell. If we can't do it this time, I'll uh, attach a booster onto it, but it looks like... I'm... Whoa, okay. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't have been able to do it that time. We might have enough time to do it. Let me get... a booster. There we go. There we go. That way it'll push us to the ground a little bit. Though apparently it's gonna want to try and flip us. Fantastic. There we go. You did it, congratulations! Oh, uh, that's my type of uh, uh, environment would venture. What? Large F1 wheel? Wait a minute. We got F1 wheels. Oh, these are. Bigger. Oh god, that's a scrapper! No! 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 Don't start scrapping stuff, please, for the love of god. Oh god. Wait, what is this? Speedometer! Cool. Oh, we got a missile launcher! Sweet! Oh, and we got the, um, Adventure Z1 blocks. What is this? 
Huh? What? Oh, cool. Um. Oh God, that thing looks like it could pack. I mean, punch. Okay, let's go and have a look and see what stuff we got here because we got a lot of new stuff, even from me. All right, venture duck bill block. This streamlined duck bill shaped block helps to neaten up the lines of your venture tech, and also trades fewer attach points for a bit more armor. Venture C1 block. Did you ever play that game where you have to make neat lines of blocks and run to keep appearing faster and faster? Which C shaped blocks are really helpful in that, right? Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's a Tetris reference. Venture large dino side block. This large side block goes hand in hand with the dino series blocks to neaten up the lines of your adventure tech and also trace few attachment points for a bit more armor. That's kind of nice. Venture AI God module. module. Yeah. This AI module is great for building scouts. Okay. Venture large F1 wheel. I'm kind of curious about these. There's very fast racing wheels with slick tires and hard suspension. These are not off-road tires, so they lack friction on sand and pebbles, but they are the fastest wheeled around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For a corporation that is mainly associated with sand, these lack traction on sand? What? Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but alright. Venture Avalanche Launcher. The Avalanche Launcher fires short-range luck on missiles. As long as you're in range, these missiles will hit their mark. Venture Crossfire Rifle. The Crossfire is a fixed mid-range rifle that packs more of a punch than the Hellfire. By a slow rate of fire, it also needs to be aimed directly at the target to connect as it is not gimbal mounted. Venture Rapid Cannon. I don't remember seeing this in the pile of stuff that we just got. A lightweight, fast firing heavy armament. This twin barrel cannon can outspace a megaton rate of fire and range. Oh god. Although it is let down slightly in the damage and blast rates departments, still a solid piece of kit. Venture speedometer. This little gizmo at a, a speedo to the HUD. You can see how fast you are going now. Yeah, we don't need it. This is not for Venture. Venture projected tracking shield. This is a bit of a weird mashup of words. A directional shield projector that sends out a rectangular shaped field and a small distance front of it once it's powered up. Oh, what's part up? This features advanced enemy tracking technology allows the shield to rotate on a 180 degree axis to feature enemies. The passive battery drain is moderate, but its ability to absorb damage is like no other. Okay, that's interesting. Venture Scrapper. Venture Scrapper reduces venture blocks to the component resources. Now, we got something else interesting. Oh! Venture One Way Adjustment Thruster. The Venture One Way Adjustment Thruster is a great block for adding position controls to a hover flying tech in a single direction only. Unlike the five way version, this block lets you limit the ex exact direction of force. Oh. Wait, what? What does this mean? That doesn't. I. What? <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. That looks like everything that we got. Alright, so that's going to do it this time, guys. Good lord. Oh, from a track that I hate to a track that I, that I honestly like. Uh, seriously though, why would you make a slippery tr course like that? I will never know. Well, anyway, uh, that's going to do it this time, guys. So, prospect the like button if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and ring our bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. <sighs> Hopefully next time we have something a little bit more forgiving than a course like that. Seriously, that's something I can do without. <laughs> <sighs>